Holy shit. Oh shit. It's actually so dark. They moved the fucking hour back. And now it's dark again in the morning. For fuck's sake. I wake up at 6.30. Welcome to a life of purpose episode. What is it? Four now? Yeah. So today we're going to be living once again and recording that shit. Yeah. Let me just do my morning routine real quickly. And I don't know. I'll see what we'll do later. As customary, I completely forget to mention what the show is about in the morning. So this show, this is a vlog series and watch me grind. Essentially, that's what it is. So if you want to feel motivated, if you want to fucking smash the day, if you want to see someone grind, then you watch this show. Maybe while you're working out, while you're doing something, you just put it on in the background and you just hear me and occasionally see me if you want to, just fucking grind, and fucking grind, and fucking grind, and in this show, I'll show you my mistakes, like when I watch porn and shit, I've done that since the last vlog, so I'll show you all my mistakes, and I'll show you my schedules, and I'll show you how I grind hard, and I'll show you literally everything, now obviously I won't record myself fapping, <laughs> that's not what I mean by showing my mistakes, and also, you know what, I'll answer comments at the end, so... At the end of each vlog, I'll answer comments from these and maybe my other videos. I don't know. But yeah, yeah, yeah. This is what the show is about. If you want motivation, if you want to fucking grind in life. Because nobody on YouTube, nobody on YouTube is recording their grind. I've never seen anybody ever actually recording their grind on self-improvement or self-development or whatever. Nobody does it, so I'm going to do it. Today, we're going to smash the day as we usually do. So let me dress up and I'll get back to you in a second. Damn boy, damn boy, let me sit you down, bro. Let's speak a little bit. Now, since last time, I actually changed the schedule. Also, by the way, I had like a weird dream. So I was playing a video game like Jedi Academy. So like Star Wars Jedi, something like that I was playing. And... I was just supposed to pick my character, like a fucking Jedi character. I was supposed to pick where I, I was going to be, good or bad. And I was <laughs> struggling to make a decision in the dream because in the dream, I was telling myself that this is my last video game or something like that. <laughs> and then I woke up. <laughs> Guess my character got picked. It's me and it's real life. God damn, but now I have to fucking grind. The character got picked. Oh, but since last time, let me just mark this as complete so you can see. Nice, we slept, we did well. Since last time, I've, I've changed the schedule a little bit. So now, we'll still do four hours of work first thing in the morning. But then I'm going to do my workout routine. So I'm going to do my workout 10.30 in the morning. And then I'm going to eat a quick meal so I don't fucking starve to death. Then I'm going to do more work. Then I'm going to do my journaling, meditation, and, you know, eating food. So I'm going to do it later. And then I'm going to work. So that's the change. I've swapped the meditation, journaling, and eating with the workout. 
that's the change from the previous schedule. Now, the reason I made this change is because, quite honestly, just having that, you know, eating after the first, I don't know, the first work cycle actually made me sleepy for the second work cycle. So I, every time I ate, I got sleepy. And I think that prevents me from working well. So I decided to do that. I hope I don't get too hungry that, I, that I'm doing this. And I hope it's not too difficult for me to eat all the food I have, you know, at night as well. Because the meals go between... I'm only, I only have like a six-hour window to eat everything. But I think that's more convenient than just fucking eating early in the morning and then getting sleepy every fucking time. Because I notice I struggle always in the second work cycle. Now, that might be a coincidence. We'll test it out with this new schedule. I also brought back something called a weekly evaluation. So a weekly evaluation is where I evaluate everything I've done throughout the week. And I'll show you this guy actually. I actually did this for the previous month. So I'll show you the whole month of March, all my fucking bad habits. There's 27 bad habits I've done. And there is a bunch of tasks. I've done. I'll show you everything for March. And last week, I'll show you everything. And yeah, now it's time to do some fucking work or something. At least I think I'm supposed to do that. I'm going to create thumbnails and ideas for the whole week. So I can't be bothered to do it for each video separately because I don't know. I start, I start overthinking. I start overthinking what video I'm supposed to make, which ruins my overthinking ruins me. I'm pro I'll probably talk about that later, but I'll make all the thumbnails and ideas for the videos today for the rest of the week so I don't have to overthink what videos I'm gonna make and upload and yeah let's do this shit All right, so I've been sufficiently <laughs> ruining my mental health by watching these fake-ass videos to gather ideas for my own videos. The more I watch YouTube, the more I realize that it's shit. Nobody's being fucking real, bro. Everybody editing their videos and shit. But whatever, whatever. Get clicks. You gotta get the clicks. If you don't get the clicks... You starve to death. <laughs> Average YouTuber mentality. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to stop the recording for a while. I'm going to do more of this, keep ruining my mental health, trying to generate ideas. And then I'm going to bring back the recording for uh, thumbnails. I'm going to show you how I take thumbnails or some Adam. See you in a bit. Whew. All right, I'm done with the fucking 
making, well, I'm done with coming up with ideas. I didn't manage to reach the thumbnails. Very slow, very slow today. Overthinking again. But this is why you should come up with your ideas in one day. Because otherwise you start thinking and wasting time. So today I'm allowed to do that. But tomorrow we got to be grinding. So right now I'm going to do my workout on the rings as well. Uh, it's finally warm outside, for, so for the first time, I'm not actually going to be <laughs> freezing working out this year. Oh, yeah, boy, yeah, boy. Let's go do the workout. All right, the warm-up has been done. Mm. Now it's, <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> what am I doing with my life? Sometimes I wonder, I'm living a life of purpose. That's what I'm doing. So now I'm gonna take my rings, I'm gonna set up, and I'll be back to you in a bit when I'm trying to do handstands. Oh, yeah, that's the proper, that's the good, oh, <laughs> sorry, I'm clipping my mic onto my titty, that's what I try to do, what am I doing with my life? All right, boys, now it's time for the workout. Oops, what the fuck? Um, we're starting with the handstands, and then I'm gonna do bicep curls on the rings, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna do one-legged back lever, and then triceps push downs on the rings. So you can build an aesthetic body completely just with rings, just with, actually you don't even need rings. I didn't have rings for a long time. Um, but you can build an aesthetic body. If you want to isolate muscles, you need rings with body weight, but you don't need weights. So let's begin this workout. Damn, 
<laughs> I was about to fucking smash my head in. Let's go! The bombs are coming! I don't know if you can hear the bombs are dropping but we're still fucking grinding bro we're still fucking working out Hiroshima Nagasaki 
doesn't fucking matter. Huh? What's an atomic bomb compared to this bomb of a body? Huh? What's an atomic bomb gonna do to my Greek physique? Hmm? They can do all the fucking warnings. They can drop all the bombs. But they can't compare to this bomb. Boom. 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 Done. All right, workout done. Now I'm just gonna fucking shower. Then I'm gonna take a thumbnail. No, I'm gonna take a thumbnail first for this video. I'm gonna shower. And then I'm gonna eat a quick meal. What should the thumbnail be? <sighs> yeah, okay, I got it. My poor dog is not gonna like this one.
got the thumbnail, boys. It's gonna be with the dog. What the dog doing? What the dog doing? Stupid thumbnail. Look. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> this is gonna be the thumbnail. <laughs> ah! Now I'm gonna shower. <laughs> Let's stop wasting time on fucking thumbnails, bro. Let's shower. Let's go. Now, for obvious reasons, I'm not gonna record my big cock when I'm showering, but I'll be back to you in a second after I'm done showering. Transition. Who, boy? Let me put on this little shit that keeps falling. We are now done with the cold shower. Woo! I, almost, I always feel pumped after cold showers and workouts, of course. Now I'm gonna go eat. But that's why I switched, this is why I switched the journaling and meditation with the workout. I always struggle in my, ses in my second work session, so now I'm swapping it around. Hopefully now that I'm pumped, I can actually do it. So let me go grab, a, let me dress up and go grab a quick meal. And yeah. Ooh, damn boy. So now I'm gonna eat a meal. I forgot to mention that while the camera was off, I also uh, had to shave my balls. I had to use my arm strength. This is why I develop, this is why I train. Because I need to lift my humongous cock so I can shave my balls. <laughs> Man, what the fuck? <laughs> so now I'm gonna eat. I know you don't see me, bro. Great vlog. Great fucking vlog. I'm gonna eat oats and shit. So let's... I don't know, speed up the preparation or something. I, I have nothing to say. How do you vlog? How do you vlog? Just put the fucking oats in. Yeah, guys. Hello, I'm putting the oats in. I'm vlogging, guys. I have a lot, a lot of interesting things to say. I'm vlogging, guys. This is very interesting. Speed up, bro. Yeah! The fucking dog barking all the time. Mmm. Mmm. Hello guys, welcome to Mugbank. Mm. <laughs> Episode 3. Mmm. Mmm. Nah, fuck. I'm not a Mugbank channel. But I might as well be. Because I still don't know what the fuck my channel is about. Hmm? It's like... I don't get a lot of viewers on my channels. Because... The fucking algorithm is confused. Like... The algorithm doesn't know what my channel is about. I don't know either. I don't blame the algorithm. You know, I'm gonna make one video today. It's gonna be a vlog. Tomorrow is gonna be a workout. The next day is gonna be some fucking essay about philosophy or some shit. Like, I don't even know what my YouTube channel is about. I 
every video is so different. I think I'm good enough at speaking and making videos at this point that I can get a lot of viewers. But I just can't decide what I want my channel to be about. And this, this is my problem with this YouTube channel. You know, I don't want to stop vlogging now that I've started, but I'm not a vlogging channel, you know? I don't want to stop making fitness videos because I like them, but I'm not a fitness channel. So I need to choose consistently what content I want to upload. I need to upload content with the same goal each video for the same viewer each video with the same frequency every day and with the same type of style. I cannot keep changing my style and my type of video and the goals of the video and the type of message I, I sent out into the algorithm because it gets confused. My videos don't get recommended. They don't get clicked. If they get clicked, they don't get a lot of view duration. And it's because I don't know what my channel is about. So if you somehow managed to stumble upon this, bro, I don't know what the fuck <laughs> this is about. I'm probably gonna com continue the vlog series. I think I'm gonna make my channel just about raw videos, about self-realization. I think that's the goal of this channel is gonna be self-realization, AKA, you know, achieving, finding your true purpose in life, your authentic purpose, achieving control of your mind through your consciousness, achieving an aesthetic body, getting financially free and starting a family, creating a family, so dating. I've done three, three-ish out of these five things, so I'm thinking I'm gonna, this is what I'm interested in, so I'm gonna make my channel about that. But, I don't know. I need to, I wanna make my videos for young guys like me. Like, I wanna make my videos for me like three, four years ago when I was 18 and I had, I wanted to improve, I wanted to be ambitious and I got lied to by all these gurus about getting rich and shit, which was stupid as fuck. This is not what life is about. So I want to teach young guys some sensible advice. So the goal of this channel, I'm fucking brainstorming live here. Look at me brainstorm. The goal of this channel is going to be self-realization with every video. We're going to be doing that. The, the ideal viewer of this channel is 18-year-old me who was lost but was ambitious. So I'm going to teach him to go through, towards a life of purpose rather than getting rich and all this bullshit. Because a life of purpose, that's where it's at. Happiness. This life. I'm not rich, but I'm fucking happy. And I wouldn't trade that shit for anything. So I want to teach that to young men how to be happy through a life of purpose. Because this is the life. So I'm going to upload every day, every single day, almost every day. I'm gonna have a video on the channel, so that's gonna be my frequency. And in terms of style, this is where it gets difficult. I can't decide. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna upload maybe five videos a week, which are sort of like 10 minutes, and the style is gonna be sort of raw, like 10 minute educational. And then I'm gonna upload a similar video, but it's gonna be one hour and it's gonna be a full guide. Maybe I can bring out like a board or something like a teacher, I don't know. And definitely I wanna do once a week at least these vlogs because first, I really enjoy recording them. Second, I think it shows what true improvement is in life, these vlogs. It holds me accountable. It shows what true improvement is. It shows you something that is not on YouTube, which is how a real life of actually working and trying to be productive looks like. 
because most of these guys, man, they record videos, then they go play fucking video games for five hours afterwards, after the video. They, they say they're productive, but they work four hours a day and they then fuck about for the rest of the day. Bullshit, man. Most of these videos are bullshit. So I think style-wise, I'm gonna have some changes. I'm not gonna keep it to one type of video because I'm gonna get burned out by uploading every day. But I think I'm gonna keep the vlogs, I'm gonna create a full guide, and the other five videos are gonna be all about just... I don't know. We're gonna figure out the style later. But, yeah. This is what I'm gonna do. Mmm. Mmm. Speed up! Alright, so uh, we're done with the workouts and eating and everything. I feel hella motivated right now. So I think switching the meal and the workout was a good idea in my schedule. So now I'm gonna make I'm gonna make the thumbnails for all the videos for the week. And then I'm going to create one video. And maybe if I have time, I work on my course. But we'll see. I'm gonna leave you for a second because I have to charge my camera, but I'll be back when I'm making the thumbnails. Are you alive, bro? Okay, so I've just finished my thumbnails. Wait, let me open them. Wait. If I can fucking find them. Yeah, so I've, I've finished. Ooh, I've finished my thumbnails. Can you see them? Make the fucking icons big, bro. How do you make the extra large? There you go. You can see the thumbnails for the week. Um, I've come up with the ideas way too late. Usually I do it faster, but listen, overthinking, thinking about different stuff. This is what happens. Now, I'm gonna fucking make a video quickly. It's gonna be one of those unedited videos that honestly I prefer making. Maybe I should just fucking make the channel this way. I don't know. But yeah, let me make a video, bro. Let's do this shit. Alright, so now I'm about to record the video. It's about not leaving your friends and not making yourself isolated like an idiot. I think a lot of people have done that, so I hope it's a good message. Let's help these boys, bro. Let's make a good video.
All right, we are done recording the video. Basically, the message of the video is if you go on self-improvement and you start setting goals for your life, this doesn't mean you have to isolate yourself and not have any friends. Your friends should not be associated or don't need to be associated with your goals. You just need to trust them. At least that's my mentality. Now, what am I going to do? Well, I'm going to edit the video. I'm going to upload it. And then I'm going to maybe if I have time, I don't know. I have about an hour. So I'll probably spend some time making my course. Fitness course. So you can get, so you can get this physique, bro. Let's go. Alright boys, I'm gonna stop for a few seconds the footage and then I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna come back, excuse me, I can't speak. I'm gonna come back with you for finally the meal of the day. So I've not eaten since like 9 p.m. last night. So right now it's, what is it? It's gonna be 4 p.m. by the time I eat. So I've not eaten for 18 hours. Damn, boy. This is some good fasting. I I'm not doing this on purpose. It's just my schedule. I'm not fasting on purpose. So I'll be back in a second when I'm done with uh, doing my course and I have 20 minutes more of work. All right. So I'm done with this work session. As predicted when I was fucking making the schedule, it's actually much easier to work after a workout. You know what I mean? So, yeah, now I'm going to gratitude journal for 10 minutes. Then I'm going to meditate for 30 minutes. 30 minutes of meditation. The reason I put so much meditation is because... I tend to have a problem overthinking. I tend to have a problem just losing my train of thought. Literally happened 10 minutes ago. So I think meditation is very beneficial to improve my concentration. So I do, I will do 30 minutes for this coming week every day. And this is very torturous, 30 minutes of meditation, man. It takes forever. But I have to do it. I have to better my concentration. It's one of the biggest reasons I ever fail my discipline. Just lose, lose concentration randomly. Just completely randomly. You know, like you're trying to work. You're trying to do something. You just completely forget that you're doing it. And then you start doing something else. And before you know it, you've wasted half an hour. This happens to me all the time. So I need to meditate. I will invest in meditation. And afterwards, I'm going to eat some food. So let's do this shit.
let me read you my gratitude journal. This gratitude journaling is practicing positive thinking. So this is what I'm doing right now. This is why this habit is so valuable. I'm grateful for the warm weather. I'm grateful for the sun and the light in my eyes when working out. I'm grateful for the fresh air. I'm grateful for the opportunity to educate myself that the internet has provided me with. I'm grateful to be a critical thinker and not fall in the trap of some insane advice. I'm grateful to have detoxed my brain from social medias and actually use my time productively. I'm grateful to have taken control with my consciousness. I'm grateful for my system, which serves to organize my thoughts. I'm grateful for the clear vision I have of my purpose in life and what I have to do to achieve it. I'm grateful to be enjoying every moment of my journey. I already feel better. This works every fucking time. Gratitude journaling. Now on to meditation. Now we're gonna meditate for 30 minutes. Oh God, I already dread this. <laughs> I'm not a fan of meditation. I'm not too good at doing it. Well, that's the exact reason I should do it, right? It's just like with working out, the fucking exercise you hate the most. That's the most effective one. So, yeah. Not liking something is a good sign that it will work for you. So I'm going to meditate for 30 minutes. Oh my God. Just try to sustain my focus on my breath and then get pissed off that I can't sustain my focus on my breath. Ah. Starting now. Imagine meditating, then losing your thoughts so much that then you end up randomly teleported one hour ahead onto your desk. That's definitely what happened and not that my camera ran out of battery. No, but in all seriousness, these cameras, man, what the fuck? Like, they last like two hours. It's so annoying. These vlogs are so difficult to record. I have one hour and 20 minutes of space in terms of footage. And I have like two hours of battery. So you can imagine me recording myself all day, how difficult it is. But yeah, that's what happened. My camera ran out of battery while meditating. I did the meditation. I ate. And I've started work now. By the time my camera actually charged, it's been like half an hour of work. So this is what we're doing right now. <clears throat> I'm making the course. After I'm done with the course, I'll read a book. The book will be on porn addiction. It's like the easy peasy method of quitting porn. I've read this book before. It actually worked. But for some reason, I'm back to porn. Recently, the last month, uh, I've not controlled myself and now I need to read this book again. After I'm done reading, I'll show you my monthly evaluation. All the bad habits I did, <laughs> all the bad habits I did over the course of a month. It's going to be embarrassing. There's 27. 
but it's important to hold yourself accountable and I'll show you the weekly evaluation as usual. And at the end, I'm going to show some comments of my YouTube channel and I'm going to respond to them if I haven't already. So that's what we're going to do. Speed up. All right, so I'm doing some, you know, course work right here, just making the course. I have about half an hour left of work. My fucking head hurts like, oh, God damn, bro. My head hurts. Ugh. But I'm doing the work anyway, so. I'll do half an hour more. Afterwards, I'll start reading the fucking NoFap book. Because I'll show you I have a problem with that. And I'll stop recording now. I'll be back to you in a bit with the evaluation and the schedules. And I'll show you my embarrassing, embarrassing mistakes over the month of March. So maybe one day I can look back at those mistakes and laugh because I'm so perfect now. Maybe we can dream. Speed up. Wait, wait. Don't, don't speed up. Ugh, I'm tired. Don't speed up, bro. Cut. All right, boys. So I'm done reading. And now it's time to actually show you the evaluation that I promised of the previous month and also you know of the previous week which is kind of the same thing can my fucking mic actually I'm so bad at fucking youtube man what the hell okay let's get the obvious recording up sorry i don't know what i'm doing Boom! Okay, so we got the obvious recording up. Let me show you the evaluation. So this is my past month, March. This is all the habits and my consistency plus all my mistakes. I don't know if any YouTuber shows you this, but I do. What? <sighs> now, the tasks, let's analyze task by task. Sleep, 24 times completed, two times partially completed, which means I have not slept fully, only partially, zero times failed. So good consistency in terms of my sleep schedule. I, that's easy. Deep work, one. So the first deep work cycle immediately after waking up, the same, 24 times completed, two times you know, partially completed, which means I, if the yellow means that I partially started it, but I didn't finish it. And the reason I have the yellow is because I give myself points for like starting a task even if, when I don't feel like it, even if I don't complete it. So that's why we have the yellow. Zero times fail. So the first work session of the day is usually easy to complete, nearly no failures. Then we have recovery. The first recovery session, which used to be journaling and meditation plus eating. 26 zero, zero. So perfectly 
I always did my journaling, always did my meditation, and always ate my healthy food. So that's easy. Next, we have the deep work session two. So this one was a bit more difficult. So we only completed 18 times and we had eight times in which I struggled to complete it. So this is why I switched my recovery session. This is why I did my workout in the morning this time. Hopefully it will be easier. But what I've noticed is that in the second work session, I always struggle a lot. So I don't know why. The next is recovery, workout, and hygiene. So this is after the second work session. 21 times completed, four times partially completed, one times failed. So this is the first failure. One time I actually missed my workout. And four times I probably did my workout but missed my cold showers. And 21 times I did everything. Again, this inconsistency. Deep work, reading. So deep work three is usually reading and maybe something else. So I only did it 17 times. Then I had six times partially complete. Actually three times I failed. This was at the start of the month. I don't know why I was failing, to be honest. I think I was doing like the identity video or something at that point. And my old identity didn't want to die or something. So it was making me procrastinate. It was really weird, but eventually I overcame whatever. Social life as well. 2600, so perfect on the social life. That's easy. Obviously, social life is enjoyable. So in total, with the good habits, I did 156 completed, 22 partially completed, and four failed. So consistency for the past month, March, was good, decent, like seven, eight out of 10, but it was not good enough. I want better consistency. I want to be perfect. 22 times partially completing a task, you know, four times failing a task. That's like three, four days of doing nothing if you stack the failures together. So yeah, I don't want that. I don't want that. But you know, it's my first monthly evaluation. I'll say that's pretty good. You know, before, if I did a monthly evaluation like a year ago, <laughs> it would be terrible. It wouldn't even be close. <laughs> so let's not do that. Well, I don't have the schedules from a year ago, so I can't do that. Maybe I would have. So now let's talk about my failures. My failures. So in red, we have false actions. These are the mistakes that it was my fault. And in you know, black, we have the obstacles. These are the things that are external. So they're not my fault, but they did happen. So first is consume entertainment YouTube eight times. So eight times throughout the month of March, I got distracted by consuming YouTube. I have taken precautions to prevent this habit now that I know I'm doing it. Uh, you know, eight times a month. Um, I have taken precautions by blocking comments, which used to be a major source of distractions. Not your comments, guys. Just comments on videos. And I blocked the homepage. I blocked suggested videos. I blocked everything. I'm not watching YouTube anymore, bro. I'm not getting distracted. Fuck off. Scrolling football three times. So I'm not really going to do anything about this. I think this was just general escapism, just random football shit. Whoop, my shit, I'm, I'm just not gonna put this on, man. Why, why do I need this? Fuck this. Scrolling football, whatever, three times, whatever. It's not a compulsion, it's just a little bit of escapism, creeping up from the old, day, old days. Then the next one, oh, look at this. <laughs> Watch porn and masturbate. I watched porn 11 times last month. God damn. This is a fucking addiction. So this is why right now I'm reading the, the easy peasy method. This book actually helped me in the past quit. And for some reason I started again. So now I'm reading the book again. It's already helping me. I just started reading it. Bro, I'm done with porn. You know, I don't even enjoy it. 
before watching porn, I fucking hate it because I have to use my willpower and then I fucking end up relapsing and during porn, I'm just unconscious, I'm not mindful, I'm not even there, bro. I forget that I watch porn and then after porn, I'm fu I fucking feel guilty, I feel disgusting, lack of energy, lack of motivation. I don't want to watch porn. I don't enjoy it. Nobody enjoys porn, let's be honest, like it's just not an enjoyable habit. It just sucks. It makes you stressed out. It overstimulates your brain. If you think you enjoy porn, if you think you're not addicted, you're the exact person who's addicted. I'm telling you this from a point of view of a guy who thought he was not addicted. I used to think, yo, I only do two, three times a week. Here I am years later doing it two, three times a week, trying to quit. That's exactly what an addict fucking says. Everybody who watches porn is addicted because porn is inherently not enjoyable. It's not nice. It's disgusting. You're looking for worse and worse videos. The first time you watch porn, you didn't even like it. I remember I was repost. I was like eight years old. And then I resumed at 13 years old. And both times I was repost. These are my both first times watching porn and masturbating. Masturbating at 13. So yeah, I watch porn every three days according to this fucking evaluation of my schedules. So I have to hold myself accountable. You know, if I want to achieve my purpose in life, I have to be disciplined if I want to achieve my goals. So here I am holding myself accountable, guys. I'm sorry. I'm a porn addict. I'm embarrassed to admit this right now. It's, it takes a lot of courage for me to admit this. You know, I'm not going to lie. My, like my skin is crawling right now to be saying this and to know I'll post this. But yeah, I'm a porn addict. I'll quit. I've made the resolution. I have no excuses. Here it is in front of me, my failures. <sighs> yeah, I'll quit. Next bad habit is eating unhealthy sugar. So once, I think that was at my grandparents, I eat sugar, whatever. Listen to music three times, so not a great habit. But again, not a compulsion, not a big deal. Masturbate once, so actually I masturbated 12 times for March. Yeah, once I did it without porn. That was like when I showed you guys last week. So obstacles, help mother once. So my mother was an obstacle. I can't do anything about that, so I just write it down for the protocol. But I'm not going to eliminate my mother. Exterminate your mother for <laughs> ruining your discipline. <laughs> overthinking. Yeah, I struggle with overthinking. Probably, you know, I've only started to track the obstacles for the last week. So if I tracked the obstacles previously, I would have had overthinking probably like 15 times. And I think porn actually does that to me. And the YouTube, the entertainment I think these two things overstimulate my brain. So I'm going to quit these things and hopefully this problem will be resolved. I've also added meditation to the mix. And the next thing is urges negative feelings. So this is when I feel negative in general. That's an obstacle. It doesn't depend on me. It's not my fault. But, you know, it's an obstacle. And contemplation, I've put that in. That was after the last time I watched porn. I decided to contemplate why I did it. I figured out my issues. You know, partially, I think it was down to trauma in my childhood. I think it's a compulsion. It's one of those early ones. Whatever. So this is the current month. So in the current month, I'll try to beat this. And I'll try to beat all this. So just doing less of all these things. More of these green ones. Less of all the rest. Now the previous week, this is the previous week, previous week evaluation. So this is the, you know, from Monday to Sunday, the previous week from you watching this. So I slept six zero zero. So it's only six, not seven tasks because some days I have like a rest day, a day out of schedule. In those days, I'm not allowed to do bad habits still. But, you know, I don't count my tasks when I'm out of schedule. Deep work, five, you know, one yellow. Yeah, 
I think that was a few days ago I struggled. Recovery, my nutrition 600, great. Deep work the second session, four greens, two yellows, so two partially done. This is where the change that I'll explain later comes. Workout, yeah, partially I missed one cold shower, this is why one is yellow. Deep work reading, I don't know why this is yellow, but I, I missed some things at some point. Uh, six times social life. So from the previous week, I actually counted, compared my previous week. So from, from the previous week, in total, I've actually done five more green tasks. But I've also added two more yellow tasks. But the failures have stayed zero from the previous. So the last two weeks, I've not failed a single task. So I'm really proud of myself for that. Now, uh, let's see the false actions. It's getting fucking late. Um, consume entertainment once YouTube over the previous week. So this is a problem I'm addressing right now. Watch porn three times over the previous week. So which is, which is the average? Every three days I watch. So three times in a week is like the average. Um, we'll quit that. Scrolling football once. Yeah, overthinking three times. So this is the same as the previous. So I actually did minus one. So I did one less bad habit from previous week, but I did have four more obstacles. That's because I started documenting the obstacles, but actually a slight improvement in terms of bad habits. Now the, po the problems I identified this week was compulsion towards pornography. That was the first problem that I explained. Overthinking what to do. That's the second problem. Um, too much pressure at the start when I wake up, like my routine is too, too much pressure I felt and starting to be stressed. You know, starting your day stressed is terrible, even if it's little. So I noted that as a problem. Getting sleepy before the second work session, with, which actually makes it very difficult for me. That's a problem. And struggling to complete my workout and shower on time. So maybe needing more time there. There, that's a problem. So here is the improvements I've implemented this week. And maybe you can take away something from this and actually improve your life. So I'm reading the Easy Peasy Method. It's a porn addiction book. It's really good. I recommend it if you're addicted to porn, if you're struggling. If, you, if you're anybody who watches porn, even if you don't think you're an addict, read that fucking book, believe me. It will change your perception. So this is what I'm doing to stop my compulsion. Uh, I've returned the weekly and I've added a monthly evaluation to stop the overthinking. So the reason I overthink is because my consciousness, my thoughts are not organized and I keep thinking about different stuff. So I've brought back the weekly evaluation and the monthly evaluation and hopefully these evaluations will let me trust the process and just stop overthinking. I've give my, I give myself time to think during the weekly evaluation, I should stop overthinking otherwise. Next is uh, to save the schedule. Don't add it to the action base. So what I used to do at the end of the day, I would save my schedule and I would go to my Google Drive and add it to the actions database. But this actually slowed me down when it came to falling asleep. And it would make me wake up a little bit later, which would stress me the fuck out because I would have to start my day quickly. So now I've eliminated that process. Now I'm going to just save the schedule and I'm going to add it to the action database during the weekly evaluation. Action database means all my schedules. This is how I record my progress. Um, <clears throat> but this little adjustment already has a great result. I woke up way less stressed today. So even little things stacked over every day actually affect your schedule. So you need to be careful in constructing it. It actually takes a lot of practice to master this skill. Next is swap recovery sessions. So I swap the workouts with the eating and it actually worked. I felt so much energetic for my second work session today. This solution is actually working. And the next thing is that I, you know, I was worried that I would be hungry, but I wasn't. I wasn't hungry at all. So, 
this is actually amazing. Just fucking amazing that I did this. You know, these improvements are fucking pogs, bro. And finally, it's create digital workout logs, screenshot workouts, and add them like the database. So I'm going to make my workout log digital. Up until now, it was on a notebook. Highly inefficient. It took me a while to update the notebook. And so this is how I address the problem of not having enough time to work out and shower without increasing the time, just making the process more efficient. These five minutes should allow me to shower calmly and actually be able to complete everything. So let's hope the current week is going to be better. It's already started good. I've had no false actions. I've completed everything, but it's usually easy when I'm vlogging. Now, the question is... Um, The question is otherwise. Now, guys, I'm not going to do the comments because I'm late for dinner. I don't want to ruin my schedule because of the vlog. I'm not going to do any comments today, but I don't have any comments anyway. I respond to them. If you somehow manage to reach the end of this humongous vlog, then please leave a comment. I will respond to it in the next vlog, which should come Saturday, the next vlog will come Saturday or upload on Saturday. Uh, thanks for watching. What did you do? I recommend you do this. I recommend you have an evaluation like this. It will help keep you accountable and understand your problems. This is how I improve my schedule. I did not do this for the past month and I've seen a drop in discipline, including watching porn. So this is definitely something important. Uh, thanks for watching. Join the movement, become a purposeful man. If you found value in this video, I can coach you one on one, whatever. Help you be disciplined, help you implement this process as well. Help you with workouts, things like that. Help you with finding your purpose. But always remember if you don't achieve your purpose, nobody will. Be ruthless.